It was a hasty retreat for former IBC Deputy Commissioner Consolata Minor and Commissioner Margaret Mochanya, who had resigned in a half earlier this year, saying they had no confidence with their chair. Their action and subsequent events have since been roundly condemned, with the two commissioners accused of an attempt to subvert natural justice. Mutu anaenda kwa television, ana tangaza ya kwamba amewacha kazi. Mezi mi ine baadae, anatembea ndani ya ofisi na kusema yeye mbado wako kazi. Those people belong to committee. They don't belong to any office. That way Alliance Kenya leader Dr. Ikuro Court questioning how publicly resigned officers who have been out for five months would come back to office. We do believe it is their political master, wherever they may be, that have actually told them, go back to that commission with a view to discrediting uh, the IBC more. And that's why for us, we have said we are opposed to them coming back. Uh, whether their intention is to discredit IBC or not, we will not accept that. Our court reading politics in the unfolding events. When these people chose to resign, the idea, the political machination was that let's bring disrepute and discredit <coughs> IBC so that then you can push Chebukati and the remaining commissioners to actually resign. This is the Institute of Human Resource Management urged the IBC leadership to stamp its authority. This being public office whose mandate has major implication on the nation, extra care must be exercised and strict adherence to the employment laws and past HR practices and policies must be observed. Meanwhile, suspended National Land Commission Chairperson Mohamed Suzuri has been granted limited access to his former office at the National Lands Commission. Anti-corruption Chief Magistrate Lawrence Mugambi ruled that Suzuri should access his office only under supervision in order to avoid interference with prosecution witnesses. Uh, the first accused who has been at the helm of LN, who has been at the helm of NLC and did any other constitutional office holder. Prior written authorization by the Secretary of the CEO of the Commission authorizing the access after making consultations with the investigative agency in this case so that any appropriate arrangement, if any, can be made to ensure contact with witnesses who are expected to testify against the accused is minimized. Mugambi further ruled that the court has no jurisdiction to bar Suzuri from entering his office given that he occupies a constitutional office. The court, however, declined to vary bond terms issued to Suzuri on grounds that the application for review should be filed at the High Court.